What's good family, it's your man Harrison back again with another video So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my intraday trading strategy So this is like my beautiful day trading strategy I literally use this strategy nearly every single day So guys, definitely stay tuned for the whole, whole video But before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel You guys know your boy's on the road to 10,000 subscribers I'm nearly about a thousand away man, honestly So definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel And smash that thumbs up button too I remember when my channel was on 2,000 subscribers and your boy was only getting about what 100 views or something like that just 100 views here and there you know struggling to get 100 views throughout the week but now I'm getting nearly a thousand views within a day so guys that's absolutely amazing so guys shout out to you guys when I get to 10,000 subscribers I'm gonna be doing a giveaway so guys I'm still thinking about what the giveaway is gonna be but it might just be me giving out some cash me giving out like a code with money in it and stuff like that I don't know what it's gonna be yet definitely subscribe to the channel and let's smash 300 likes so you guys have been killing that like game as well I'm saying let's raise the bar a little bit. Let's raise the bar a little bit. 300 likes in this video. This is literally my intraday trading strategy. So if you guys can go back and study it, go back and look into that, guys, I'm telling you right now, like you're gonna be able to catch pips every single day. And as you've been seeing, um, this is literally part three of that whole intraday series thing. I'm just catching pips. Okay, there's the same setup, catching pips. The same setup, catching pips. So guys, definitely watch the whole video to the end. And also guys, comment down below what you really like about these videos. So I wanna know how these videos are also benefiting in you guys by the way some people know it as a day trading strategy as well look the same thing as long as you do it within a day it's an intraday it's a dating it doesn't really matter anyway guys let's get straight into the video here is my intraday trading strategy let's go what's good family it's your man harrison back again with part three of the best intraday setup so if you haven't watched the other two parts Go ahead and watch that too. Anyway guys, let's get straight into the video. So guys, I've been showing you guys how to get the best intraday setups and today I'm gonna to be using that one minute time frame right now. So guys, check this out. First of all, this is the daily low right now. That was the daily low at the time, right? And so you know that there's liquidity sitting beneath daily lows, okay? You know that there's liquidity sitting beneath daily lows and above daily highs, right? So guys, we're bearing this in mind now. This is where we come to now. So let's quickly walk this through, right? Price starts to consolidate down here but they don't run out the liquidity. Guys, what do you think is gonna happen? When price is consolidating, beneath consolidation is liquidity, right? Liquidity is just people's stop losses, people's money, there's just a pool of money down here, right? But as you can see, they don't run it out, okay? They don't run it out, they don't run it out, they don't run it out. So what happens is this, so retail traders, they believe now that this is a very strong zone and now we're gonna go ahead and buy this thing up because it's tapped it once, twice, three times, four times, five, six times. This has to be a strong zone, okay? Because this is what they're taught, right? And then look, they push price up, yeah? So they give them a piece of the pie, so that's fine. But we know that there's money down here, okay? So we're gonna be using this as target zone. Price continues to expand, okay? Then it starts to consolidate again. I actually get into this trade nice and early at 1,900 because I believe it's gonna drop all the way down smash out all this liquidity and go for the daily lows right but then price begins to consolidate consolidate you can see it's hitting the top and the bottom hitting the top and the bottom so once again what do you think is happening right retail traders are believing okay cool it's consolidating again this has to be a strong zone again and they're going to go ahead and buy it up okay but then look they run out the liquidity okay they run out that liquidity on the top end as you can see right this is where i would have jumped in if i wasn't in already right so this is normally when smart money's jumping in. Smart money's jumping in when they're running out your stop losses. Put it that way, right? And then they push price down, okay? So cool, so I'm in, don't forget I'm in from down here. Okay, I'm in from here. And so now check this out, right? The low that took out this high, okay, all this consolidation was this one over here. Okay, this one over here, right? So all you have to do is just wait for price to break beneath this position, this low over here pull back up and then enter so this is where i would have entered if i didn't have already have a position really really close already but check this out it broke it here so it literally just broke it to the t look if i bring up the line now you can see it's broken it that line was broken right as you can see that kind of stick closed beneath right all you have to do is wait for a pullback and then enter in this case you're also going to look for like a, a really really deep pullback because look this is the high okay pull back enter and then let price do its thing let it drop right so now check this out, right? Don't forget, bear in mind there's liquidity down here, okay? There's liquidity here, there's liquidity over here as well, okay? And there's also liquidity beneath these lows. So we've got three points of references. So in other words, where is the money? All the money's down here. The money's, at, the money's on the bottom side, on that sell side, okay? With liquidity here, tons of liquidity here, okay? Because they've generated liquidity, there's just a pool of liquidity down here. Liquidity beneath these two lows as well. So this is the draw on price. So when you're entering your when when you're jumping in 
you're not taking TP here. You can take partials there. It's not a problem. You can scale off some position too. This is where you're going to be taking off the majority of your position and seeing whether you can catch a runner, okay? Or if you're happy, just take it all off. Take it all off. You're done trading for the day because this is the best intraday setup, okay? The best intraday setup. Look, you ride it down to the low of the day. Boom, you're nice. You're good to go. This is where that liquidity is. Okay, this there was liquidity beneath these old lows. Look what happened. It tapped it to the T. So let me quickly put a line there so you can see how it actually tapped it to the very T. Okay, boom, here. So you can see when I zoom in now all the way, you can see, look what happened. Right down here, it tapped it to the very T. Can you see it? Okay, tapped it to the very T, you'll be out of your trade. You would be out of your trade. Done deals, okay? So all together now, so let me quickly go to high time frame. It looked a lot better on a high time frame. So three minute. This move here was a 165 pip move. Guys, look how simple it was, right? You know there's liquidity here. You know there's liquidity here. You know there's liquidity here. And you know this is where they ran it out, okay? You just need to be patient and wait. So look how long it took. So look, from, from entry in this area down here, okay? This literally took just under an hour and boom, you're done trading for the day. You don't have to be in front of the screen all the time. You can literally be done literally in about an hour's time, guys. Literally in about an hour's time, you're done trading for the day. And like I said, you don't have to swing trade every single position. I don't swing trade every single position. There's gonna be some setups that I go for intraday. There's gonna be some setups that I swing as well, right? So just remember this again, family, yeah? Intraday move, this is intraday part three, the best intraday strategy part three, right? So look, liquidity beneath the low, liquidity here, and then they run out of stops over here, okay? This is where they run out of stops. This is where your eyes should be, down here, okay? Your eyes should be where the money is. Because if you trade to where the money is, you are Gucci, you are fine. And look, look at look at how it responds to the money. As soon as it snatches the money, it rejects. As soon as it snatches the money, it rejects. Do you see it? Now it could be coming up again before falling again. This is what I wanted to show you guys. That was the part three of the best intraday strategy. So guys, look, as long as you know where the money is, okay? Wait for them to generate liquidity. Wait for them to snatch it. You jump in, you ride it to where the money is. Let's go. That was part three of the best intraday strategy. I've showed it to you on gold. Look, there's so many pips you can catch on gold. This does work as well for other pairs as well, but obviously gold gives out more pips, right? Hey guys, I know some of you guys want mentorship. If that's you, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Harrison Uwa. Just drop me a DM, type in mentorship, and let's get straight to work. Also, family, don't forget I am doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. So guys, if you want to be part of that, you need to be subscribed to the channel. So let's get your boy to 10,000. I'm roughly about 1,000 away. This could happen within a week. It could happen within a month. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and you're vibes in with the content.